I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about 5-HTP. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, side effects, and why I do not recommend 5-HTP as a nootropic supplement. 5-HTP is an amino acid that's synthesized from the essential amino acid tryptophan. Tryptophan is hydroxylated by tryptophan hydroxylase, oddly enough, to 5-HTP, then decarboxylated to serotonin. So the process goes like this, tryptophan to 5-HTP to serotonin. Now, 80 to 90 percent of your body's serotonin is made in your intestines, but serotonin cannot cross the blood-brain barrier. So all the serotonin that your brain needs has to be made within your brain, and this is where 5-HTP comes in. 5-HTP crosses the blood-brain barrier more readily than tryptophan and gets synthesized into serotonin at a faster rate than from tryptophan. As a neurotransmitter, serotonin influences directly and indirectly the majority of brain cells. So if you want to boost serotonin in your brain, some find that supplementing with 5-HTP is better than taking tryptophan. Now tryptophan, which your body uses to make 5-HTP, can be found in turkey, chicken, milk, potatoes, pumpkin, sunflower seeds, turnip and collard greens, and even seaweed. 5-HTP as a nootropic supplement is an unnaturally occurring amino acid derived from the seed pods of the Griffonia simplicifolia found in West and Central Africa. 5-HTP concentrate extracts of this plant vary from 2 to 20.83 percent and these are from seeds that were um, come from Ghana. So how does 5-HTP work in the brain? Well, 5-HTP is a precursor to serotonin. The neurotransmitter serotonin plays a role in sleep, appetite, memory, learning, mood, and sexual function. When tryptophan's role in converting to 5-HTP for boosting serotonin doesn't work efficiently, the result is often depression, chronic headache, and insomnia. Now, an open-label trial was conducted in Italy to determine the efficacy of using 5-HTP in young subjects with high levels of romantic stress. Serotonin has been linked to human romantic attachment. So researchers in this study set out to determine brain levels of brain-derived nootropic factor, or BDNF, BDNF, and serotonin in relation to changes in romantic stress during the study. 15 healthy subjects mean age 23.3 years who had a romantic breakup took part in the study. Participates re, uh, participants received 60 milligrams of Griffonia simplicifolia extract containing 12.8 milligrams of 5-HTP daily for six weeks. The subjects were evaluated for BDNF and serotonin levels at the beginning of the study at three weeks in, and then again at the end of the six-week trial. The scientists observed significant improvements in romantic stress scores from weeks zero through three. So far, 5-HTP seems to be working, but no further improvement was seen from weeks three through six, even though the young people had significantly higher levels of BDNF and serotonin. So there's more involved in depression and stress and serotonin. This romantic breakup study is a classic illustration of why using 5-HTP alone to treat depression may not work. And if it does work, why it may not work for long. Depression is often more than simply serotonin dysfunction. Depression can also be associated with catecholamine dysfunction, including dopamine and norepinephrine, or a combination of serotonin and catecholamine dysfunction. When you take 5-HTP alone, you're also depleting dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. 
synthesis of serotonin from 5-HTP and dopamine from L-DOPA is catalyzed by the same enzyme, AAAD, triple AD. Dopamine and serotonin precursors supplementation must be taken in proper balance because when you use only 5-HTP, it dominates dopamine at the triple AD enzyme synthesis level. Blocking dopamine, dopamine synthesis at the triple AD enzyme through competitive inhibition will lead to depletion of dopamine and the rest of the catecholamines. So going back to our Italian study of young people dealing with romantic stress, the subjects stopped responding to 5-HTP in the second half of the study, likely because their catecholamines became depleted through continuous 5-HTP supplementation. Studies have found that when dopamine is depleted enough, 5-HTP will no longer function. And catecholamine dysfunction affects more than just depression. When catecholamine neurotransmitter levels, so like dopamine or norepinephrine, influence depression, supplementing with 5-HTP alone is not the way to go. Because you may deplete dopamine and norepinephrine, worsening the disease in its underlying cause. But this contradiction is not exclusive to depression. It extends to all other diseases where catecholamine dysfunction has been implicated, including ADHD, obesity, anxiety, seasonal affective disorder, and Parkinson's. We do know that 5-HTP is absolutely critical for synthesis of serotonin in your brain. But supplementing with 5-HTP to boost serotonin does not work very well. Using 5-HTP to treat depression has had very little success over the last few decades of clinical trials in biohacking. Integrating 5-HTP into your nootropic stack is much more complicated than simply adding some 5-HTP in order to boost serotonin. 5-HTP alone will not work for depression or any other issue uh, you're dealing with involving the catecholamines, including dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine because of 5-HTP's tendency to deplete those neurotransmitters. 5-HTP will boost serotonin in your brain, but 5-HTP must be carefully stacked with precursors for dopamine and norepinephrine, or you risk making the situation worse. You must avoid supplementing with only one of the serotonin or dopamine amino acid pre precursors then amino acid precursors are not in balance and you end up with decreased effectiveness of that nootropic, increased side effects, and a depletion of the non-dominant system. So how does 5-HTP actually feel when you take it as a supplement? <clears throat> and I've got some personal experience with this. Reactions to supplementing with 5-HTP vary considerably, but the one consistent theme is initially feeling of Initial feeling of well-being, better sleep, less need for sleep, improved mood, less social anxiety, lower appetite, improved tolerance for stress and improved cognitive function. And after a couple of weeks of dose, dosing 5-HTP, side effects begin. Serotonin overload results in dopamine and norepinephrine depletion. Side effects include feelings of lethargy, depression, brain fog, stomach pain, and headaches. Worst case scenario is nausea, vomiting, and even blacking out. Neuro, uh, neurohackers who report consistent success supplementing with 5-HTP stack it with uh, B vitamins, a dopamine precursor like NALT, and only use 5-HTP as needed. Those who have had a bad experience with 5-HTP from the start often have no idea why they've reacted that way. But only an educated guess is their depression was catecholamine uh, related. Dopamine, norepinephrine, or epinephrine got screwed up. And boosting serotonin made their dopamine related issues worse very quickly. So one huge word of warning in capital letters. Do not take 5-HTP with any antidepressant medication. 
you put yourself in very real danger of serotonin syndrome, which can ultimately kill you. Now, there is a lot of research behind 5-HTP. Um, the supplements, they've been heavily mar marketed as a natural remedy for depression. But the science does not support using 5-HTP for depression. And we have decades of clinical trials available, and there is no evidence of the efficacy in using 5-HTP for depression. The Department of Public Health at the University of Queensland Medical School in Australia did a systematic review of literature dating from 1966 to 2000, and they used the keywords 5-HTP and depression. The researchers found 108 clinical studies, of which only two studies, one with serotonin and one with L-tryptophan, for a total of 64 patient, patients met sufficient quality criteria to be included. These studies suggest serotonin and L-tryptophan are better than placebo at alleviating depression. But researchers noted the small size of the studies and the large number of inadmissible, purely executed studies cast doubt on the results from potential pub um, publication bias and suggest that they are insufficiently evaluated to assess their effectiveness. Now, for more studies on 5-HTP, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for 5-HTP. You'll see how it's been uh, somewhat successful in helping fibromyalgia and for treating depression. Recommended dosage of 5-HTP, if you're going to try it, is 50 milligrams one to three times a day. Some studies have used higher doses, uh, higher doses than our recommended dose, but 5-HTP can be toxic at high doses. For anxiety or depression, 5-HTP is dosed at 150 to 300 milligrams a day. Now, this may help some of you to relieve post-ecstasy or MDMA depression. 5-HTP 100 milligrams on day three after MDMA use. Days three to five. Successfully supplementing with 5-HTP requires stacking with a dopamine precursor like L-tyrosine or L-dopa along with B vitamins for synthesis. And one the sulfur containing amino one of the sulfur containing amino acids like methionine, cysteine, homocysteine, or taurine. And you must monitor the effects of this stack is having on your body. If you start experiencing any side effects of any kind, it's a good indication that either serotonin or dopamine is out of balance. Do not combine 5-HTP with any kind of antidepressant medication. Combining SSRIs, tricyclics, or MAOIs with 5-HTP will cause serotonin syndrome. This is an extremely dangerous condition involving severe mental changes, hot flashes, rapidly fluctuating blood pressure and heart rate, and possible coma. Serot syndrome can kill you. And I'm not kidding here. I personally know somebody who died because of serotonin syndrome. As for side effects, speaking of side effects, 5-HTP supplementation can cause heartburn, heart palpitations, headaches, stomach pain, nausea, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, drowsiness, sexual problems, and muscle issues. 5-HTP can also cause some pretty critical mood changes, including agitation, aggressiveness, anxiety, poor decision-making, irritability, psychosis, restlessness, insomnia. 5-HTP can make the symptoms of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and other mental disorders worse. And I can't emphasize this enough, and I'm going to repeat it here again in case you missed it the first time. Do not combine 5-HTP with any kind of antidepressant medication. Combining SSRIs, tricyclics, or MAOIs with 5-HTP will cause serotonin syndrome, an extremely dangerous condition involving severe mental changes, hot flashes, rapidly fluctuating blood pressure and heart rate, and possible coma. Serotonin can po syndrome can possibly kill you, and I'm not kidding. As for f available forms, 5-HTP is made from tryptophan in your body. 
5-HTP as a nootropic supplement is made from extracts of the African tree Griffonia simplicifolia. 5-HTP supplements are typically in tablet or capsule form. You'll often find 5-HTP in many ready-made vitamin and herbal formulas. So my nootropics expert recommendation, if you're going to try 5-HTP, 50 milligrams up to 3 milligrams three times a day. However, I do not recommend using 5-HTP as a nootropic supplement. If you're using it, if you want to use it for depression, there are far better ways to treat depression and anxiety than trying something like 5-HTP. So that's my report on 5-HTP. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to neutropicsexpert.com and search for 5-HTP. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or want to share your experience using 5-HTP, go to my article on Nootropics Expert and leave it in the comments section at the bottom of the article. If you want to see more videos on all the popular nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.